So you're looking at using a virtual mixer to solve your audio solutions, to split OBS, Discord, party chat into a bunch of different locations. Today I've got you, I'm going to show you a tutorial on voice meter banana and the best part, it's completely free. Let's get into it. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. I'm Cyrus, and I'm here to improve the streaming experience not only for you, but also for your viewers. If you enjoy this content, do remember to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like it, as well as ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss content like this. Come and check me out on Twitch, as well as join the Darkness Discord. We have a fantastic community. would love for you to be a part of that. With that out of the way, let's talk about how to solve all of your audio issues using Voice Meter Banana, again, completely free. So let's jump over in the computer and I'll show you that. In the description, the links for these downloads are there, but you're going to download Voice Meter Banana. The website will look like this. You're going to scroll down and it says Voice Meter Banana Advanced Mixer. Choose the .exe file to go ahead and directly install it. Download it. Don't install it yet. We need to grab one more thing. Scroll back to the top and click the virtual audio cable. This is what's going to use to be routing all of your party chat or anything that you would like to move around into a different location. This is what we're going to use for that. Go ahead and click the VB cable driver pack zip. It's the first option. There is a Mac option as well. So go ahead and click which one that you need, download it, and let's talk about how to get those installed. So the first one you're going to install is voice meter banana. The file says voice meter pro setup. Go ahead and double click it and install it as normal. If I do it, it's going to mess with funky sounds because I'm actually using voice meter. So go ahead and install that one. After you've done that one, you need to go ahead and unzip the cable. It's a VBA or VB cable driver pack. Take it, unzip it. In that folder, you're going to scroll down and find the one that says VB cable setup x64 if you're running a 64-bit system, which most computers are running today. But don't double click it. You have to run this one as an administrator because it needs that access. So run it as administrator, click it and install it and reboot your computer after doing both of these. You've just restarted your computer and we have a few things to set up before we get into banana. The first one is we actually have to change our default sound placement, which is where we're going to be sending our recording as well as sending our output. Now to do this, hit start and open settings. From here, you're going to click system and then click on sound. In this window, you're going to have a few things to choose from for not only your output device, but your input. Make sure you change your output device to voice meter input. Sounds counterintuitive, but that's just the way they've named it. So again, output device will be voice meter input and your input device is going to be voice meter output. Mine says NVIDIA broadcast. Just ignore that. You're going to choose voice meter output. Next step, before we leave this window, go ahead and open what you're going to be using to playback sound on a stream or whatever, such as Spotify, iTunes, any of that case. So make sure you have it open. For example, I have right here my Spotify open in the background and you're on this window. You're going to choose advanced sound options app volume and device preferences. Go ahead and select into this and you'll see a window similar to this and you'll see Spotify music. I'm going to change the output for Spotify music to the voice meter aux input. And I'll explain that when we get into voice meter in a moment, but your window, just as a side note, might look slightly different and might look like it's vertical like this. Just know you're going to change the one on the top and it'll have a legend at the top to remind you of that or spread it out and you'll see this a little bit better. So again, change the output to voice meter aux input. Now let's jump over into voice meter and let's get all of those settings set up as well as let me explain it to you. In voice meter banana, I'm going to show you each of these again and define them so that you can be able to troubleshoot if you need to. But let me get you set up with what's going to work. On the top right of the screen, you're going to see hardware out. You're going to see A1, A2, and A3. We're going to select A1 and choose your headset or what your main device is that you're going to be monitoring sound from, like your gameplay, listening to music, etc. I have HyperCloud 2s, so what I'm going to choose is the WDM version of the HyperX for me. Whatever it is for you, go ahead and do that. If it's your monitor or a set of speakers, choose the one that reflects what you normally would have chose before and it will pop up here into A1. 
This is going to be the main driver for all of the pieces of audio in voice meter. So just make sure you choose the right one. If you have multiple things, for example, you want your headset as well as some speakers or something like that, go ahead and put them in A2 and A3 right now. And I'll show you how to set those up in just a moment. Next is the hardware inputs. This is on the left side of voice meter banana. This is things like your microphones, like XLR, USB, your headset microphone, or even virtual cables, which we're gonna use today to set up party chat. How you set this up, again, click hardware input, and it'll give you a drop down box. Again, choose the WDM version of your microphone. For me, it's USB plug and play audio device, and that's my USB mic. So I'm gonna choose that, and you should, if everything you've set up prior to this, you should start hearing it monitoring your ear as long as A1 is selected here or monitoring through whatever you chose in the A1 for hardware out. So if you don't want to hear yourself right now, you can uncheck this A1 and what it does is not send the audio to that device. What I just did was turn it off and I couldn't hear myself in my ears anymore, but now I can because it's turned on. And we'll talk more about that again in just a moment. The slider right here is the fader. This is going to be the volume for what your sound is coming through as. The higher you make it, obviously, the louder you get. If you move it and you don't like where it's at, you can double click it and it returns back to zero. Another thing is if you drag down above the top of the monitoring section, you can get things saying limit dash seven. This can make it to where you can't speak above a specific volume and it will kind of help give a limiter for your sound. This is just a little advanced tip. Maybe use it, maybe don't. I don't use it that often, but it is an option. Let's cover the next section. We have the virtual input section. This is what's dead center of voice meter. And this is what's going to be considered things like your game or your Spotify, anything that's Windows sounds. This is where that's going to. And when we change the sound settings to make this the voice meter input for what your output was, this is where that's going to be monitored through. So right here under voice meter VIO, this first section is going to be your game sound or what anything is going to be naturally going through your computer. So let's say you boot something like a video game and that's set to default audio. Because we set voice meter as your default, it will automatically be routed through this. Just make sure that you've selected A1 on this so that you can hear it. And again, if you want to adjust that volume, all you have to do is move that slider up and down and it will adjust it in your ears. The second one, which is voice meter aux, is what we actually changed our Spotify or at least my Spotify to. And if I just play something like something from Harris Heller's Stream Beats, and I turn it down, you'll actually see in its monitoring section, it's coming through a different location than if I went to one of my YouTube videos and let that play in the background. You'll see that monitor in a different location as well. So each of these are really great options on how you're going to be able to separate things. And this is how we're going to do it in OBS, which again, I'll show you in just a moment. All right, the next setting, and this one's kind of very important. On here, we've kind of not messed with the routing section, but let me explain that to you. On the side of the fader, you have A1, A2, A3, B1, and B2. Whatever you use green and lit is where that sound is being sent. In this case, anything that is A1 right now is going to be coming to my ears, which means I'm going to be hearing it, especially since that's my A1 device. If you have set up something in A2 and A3, you can actually click A2 and that is going to be sent to that as well. So you could, in essence, kind of filter out where sound goes. If you want something to go to a speakers like Spotify to go to your speakers, but not to your ears, you can do that. But you do need to go ahead and do this. Uncheck B1 on everything but your microphone. And the reason for that is B1 is what we're actually using for your microphone. That's the voice meter output, which is on the right side of the master section under virtual right here. Kind of labeled very like in a not great place, but that is going to be where your microphone monitors. Make sure you only check B1 for the microphone. Last thing before we leave voice meter, we need to choose and put the cable in that we downloaded and installed earlier into this. So make sure you choose hardware input two and click WDM, the cable output. 
And the reason we want this is this is where party chat is going to be separated. So make sure you select that and put it in here. So let's go ahead and talk about a program like Discord. This is just an example. Apply this concept to all. But in, in programs like this, you might need to go change your audio settings unless they are already set as defaults. So make sure you go to user settings in Discord at least and choose voice and video and make sure your input device and your output device are set to the appropriate thing. For the input device, make sure you go ahead and select voice meter output and that's again they're backwards names but go ahead and select voice meter output that's our microphone that we just set up for the output device go ahead and select the cable and again we're doing that so that it routes through that cable and we can separate it out also in obs and next is an obs or streamlabs obs whichever one you're choosing to use they both have the same concept we're going to actually turn off all of the defaults for our sounds so go ahead and open the settings and go to your audio and disable all of the global audio devices sounds counterintuitive but i'll show you why in just a moment Make sure all of those are disconnected. And then what we're going to do is go to add sources and mine's up here on the left. Um, it kind of looks weird because this is normally a vertical monitor, but go ahead and hit add and you're going to do two audio input captures and two audio output captures. You're going to label the input captures as your party chat, as well as your microphone and your two audio output captures as Spotify, as well as your desktop or game. And what you see is above is I've already done that. And I'm going to tell you which ones to set up. So once you have made them, Spotify should be voice meter aux input. And that's again where we've routed Spotify. Your game is going to be your desktop audio. So again, voice meter input. And that's where we put your default for all of your sound. Your party chat is the cable, which is where we actually split that out again in like something like Discord or if you have Xbox. Uh, party chat or something like that or team speak make sure that its output is cable and then select that in your streaming program and then also for your microphone make sure you've chosen a voice meter output again mine says nvidia broadcast because that's what i'm using but make sure you choose voice meter output once that's done a tip for here is to go ahead and add them to a, a group which is mean you're going to make a folder drag all four of them into it so it becomes a folder and what you can do is now copy this folder and paste it on every scene that you have and you'll have those audios everywhere that you would have had kind of those sources anyway. So now if you look at my audio monitoring window up here, you'll see my microphone is being monitored. If I play Spotify, you'll see that Spotify is coming through its own individual channel and I have control of that volume to chat individually from my game volume, which I don't have to have at the same volume as that. And then party chat also, I have individual control of that as well. So this is how this is so beneficial and, and wonderful. So the last setting before we leave is to make sure that this boots every time. You wanna go into voice meter banana, choose menu, and you want to make sure that there's three settings are chosen auto restart auto audio engine system tray and show app on startup these three are going to make sure that it will boot every time you turn your computer on it will automatically start and you'll have audio it might take five seconds to boot up your audio but it will be one other thing that's going to happen is if you change any audio devices if you plug something into your computer Windows will change your default device to whatever you plug in. So if you ever have that happen, go back into Windows settings and make sure your defaults are still on the ones that we discussed. And I think that'll wrap that up. This was kind of an in-depth tutorial, but I really wanted to show you exactly what you needed without having to kind of sugarcoat it or give you vague information. I hope this was very in-depth. If you have any questions, do jump in Discord. I'd love to be able to help you. And make sure if you enjoyed this video to hit it with a like, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, come hang out with me on Twitch. And I think that'll wrap this video up. I'm Cyrus and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.